Welcome to our lecture online. It's always amazing how many different ways we can pose a problem using vectors. In this case, we're wanting to find the angle between two vectors a and b, and we're given that the magnitude of a is, a is 3 and the magnitude of b is 3, and that the cross product of a and b is 2i minus 5k. So how do we find the angle between a and b? Well, since they've given us the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b, but they didn't give us the vectors, and we know that the cross product is equal to 2i minus 5k, there's an equation where we can find the magnitude of the cross product. So let's try starting with that. So the magnitude of a cross b, by definition, is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the sine of the angle between the two vectors. And that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the angle theta is equal to. Since we're given the vector, the resultant of a cross b, let's find the magnitude of that using the following. We can say that the vector c is equal to the cross product of a and b, and we know that that is equal to 2i minus 5k. And what if we want to find the magnitude of c? Well, by definition, that is equal to the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. So in this case, that would be equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 0 squared, because there's no y component, plus a negative 5 squared. So in essence, this is equal to the square root of 4 plus 25 which is equal to the square root of 29. So therefore, we know that this is the same as the magnitude of a cross b. So if the magnitude of a cross b is the square root of 29, and we know that the magnitude of a is 3, and the magnitude of b is 3, what we could do then is we could do the following. We can say that a b times the sine of theta, which is the magnitude of a cross b, is equal to this which means that the sine of theta is equal to the square root of 29 divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b, and we know what that is because they gave it to us. So we can say that the sine of theta therefore is equal to the square root of 29 divided by 3 times 3, which is equal to the square root of 29 divided by 9. And then we can say that theta is therefore equal to the inverse, oop, not tangent, but sine, wrong function here. Theta is therefore equal to the inverse sine, uh, the inverse sine of the square root of 29 divided by 9. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So take 29, take the square root of that, divide by 9, and that is equal to, might as well write it down, that's equal to the inverse sine of 0 0.598, 0 0.59835. Notice, that's a good check because if that number is not somewhere between negative 1 and 1, we probably did something wrong. It has to be a number where the magnitude is less than 1. And so therefore, if I take the inverse sine of that, I get 36.8 degrees. And there you go, that's how we find the angle with the given the magnitudes of the, the two vectors and knowing the cross product. That's how it's done.